shining a light on the way money moves through the political system. A new tool from Sky News and partners Tortoise Media for everyone to track their MP and the donations they get. For two days, we've been combing through the data. Top earners, top donors. Now welcomed by the Prime Minister. I think transparency is really important and that's why we have a set of rules and regulations in place to provide that transparency for people uh, and it's important that those rules are adhered to. The current system allows businesses as well as individuals to give their money to MPs but it's not always easy to work out who's behind them. The third biggest donor to MPs in this parliament is a little known firm called MPM Connect. For weeks we tried to establish who was behind that money. So we travelled to Hertfordshire to the company's registered address. Hello there, I'm from um, Sky News. Um, we're trying to get in touch with people from MPM Connect. This is the address for MPM Connect. Peter Hearn or Simon Murphy, do, do you know whether I can speak to them or how I can contact them? No, sorry. No. Do, do you recognise the names I'm talking about? No. You look confused. Do you, do, have you heard of MPM Connect? Accountants. Yes, have you heard of MPM Connect? No. No luck, and our questions to the MPs unanswered. But today, a sign that it doesn't have to be like this. Weeks ago, we asked Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper, Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting and Dan Jarvis basic questions about the firm that had donated them hundreds of thousands of pounds. Only today, after the Westminster accounts aired and we had raised those questions in public, did we get a response. Pretty straightforward answers. The man behind MPM Connect is Labour supporting businessman Peter Hearn. It's basic information not available to the public. There are those in Parliament trying to improve the system. Do you think that it is helpful to pull all this stuff together? Yes. In one database? Yes. Uh, to make it much more easy for the voters to understand. Yes. And why then? <laughs> well, well done. There were, there were, I mean, I, 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 well, no, so my question then is, Sorry. if you think it's such a good idea, why haven't you we've, or your committee <laughs> or other MPs done it before this? We've been trying to do this for the last two years. Apologies that we've been slow. We've been trying to get the House to make it its number one priority, and it is now, and it was um, when we had our meeting in November. And I hope that by the summer we will have a full, fully all singing, all dancing um, system. But I want it to include the ministerial stuff as well. There's a mixed response from other MPs. You're one of the uh, few that have been willing to come on to talk to us about their figures. And these uh, are yours from 2019. It could be construed, um, particularly if perhaps you're the opposition, you know, down in Bournemouth, to say, I've received 43,000 in gifts, that somehow I'm beneficiary of that amount of money. And that's, I think, would be, I hope you'd agree, would be misleading. So I think it would be helpful to make sure that that isn't lost in what you're trying to do, which is ensure that there's transparency here. I've not benefited from £43,000. In there, the response has not been universally welcoming to the Westminster accounts, a project that makes how money moves through our political system visible to the public. Some answers today, but more questions tomorrow. Sam Coates, Sky News.